Hey guys, let's begin coding by creating a HDF, uh, HDF5 file. Um, we'd like to import NumPy as NP, the, way we, the usual way we do it. Um, and then we'll import this package H5Py, which comes by default with the Anaconda's distribution. Remember, we're using Python 3.5, Anaconda's distribution. So this um, package comes by default, which is very convenient. So let's import these packages. And then here, I'm creating two random matrices using uh, NumPy. The first one, matrix 1, has 1,000 rows and 1,000 columns. And the second one, matrix 2, has 10,000 rows and 100 columns. Let's create them. And here, this is how we create um, HDF5 file. We say with h5py.file, not the capital F, and then we pass it the uh, path where we want to save that file and the mode, whether to read or write. So W is for writing, and then we say here as HDF, as HDF this is like a pointer or a reference to the file object. Remember, this is uh, the preferred way in Python to open files because as soon as this bulk of statement finishes, uh, um, that object, object will be closed automatically. If we open it, the usual, the, the, the other way of opening files, then we have to close it manually. I'll show you that in the coming videos. Okay, and then now using this HDF object, uh, we can create a data set. All we need to say is hdf.create data set, and then we give it um, a name, and we specify the data. If we look at this function, create data set, doing a shift tab to have a look at the documentation or the doc string then we notice here we it creates a new hdf5 data set we give it a name which is like an id remember the idea of a dictionary so key and value pair so name and value the name is this um, and then we give it also the data here data is matrix one and for data set two the data is matrix two so this code creates two data sets inside one hdf5 file this file okay and then we have some other options that we will uh, look at later uh, things like compression and so on and so forth okay so let's create that hdf5 file remember it's on my desktop and so let's go to my desktop and see what this file looks like i prefer using the terminal so i can go to my desktop and then, what did we call it? HDF5 underscore, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the file. And then to check the size, because now it has two data sets. If I do du minus sh for this usage, then it has 16 megabytes. So this file is 16 megabytes in size. Okay, so quite nice and easy. Remember, we import the um, uh, relevant packages, have our data. You know, we prefer data to be in a NumPy format or in a format that NumPy understands, although in the coming videos I will be showing you how to um, deal with with HDF5 stuff with pandas, okay? So pandas, data frames, and so on and so forth. Okay, so that's how we create it and the file object will be closed automatically. Let's stop here and, and in the next video, in the next video, we will see how we can read that, so the opposite of this process. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.